Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Cork again and another company that was kind enough to send me all of these swatches. So I just wanted to show you all the fun and different prints you can get in this cork fabric. It is so awesome and neat and just all the designs. I absolutely love it. This company I will link in the description box below, of course, is called MB Cork Supply. It is based over in Portugal. So depending on where you are in the world, if it's closer to you, then you can definitely check that out. They do sell all over the world. So I did get some, um, I did purchase directly from them one time. And yeah, they're a great company to work with. So yeah, they have a lot of choices. So it might be hard for you to decide. But I thought, what can I do with all of these swatches? So I thought I would try out some quilting. Um, if you're not a big quilter, or maybe you have a lot of cork pieces lying around, um, here's an idea that you can definitely reuse those scraps. So yeah, it's pretty much the same as quilting regular fabric, but when you do your first seam, you're gonna open it up and then you're going to do a top stitch. And depending on which way you press your seam, that is where you're going to do your top stitch. So if you wanted to have your top stitch on, you know, a certain color, then you would make sure that you would press your seam towards that side. And then once you do your top stitch, then it pretty much lays flat and then you can just do whatever you like with it. So I'm just taking one piece and then I'm just building off of it. You can make it pretty large depending on how many scraps you have and you can get pretty fancy. Like I'm just piecing like kind of like, you know, just piecing my pieces together, but you could of course cut them to, you know, a size or a certain measurement and make some really fun designs with this cork. As long as you have a nice sturdy needle, then uh, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. So here is my finished piece and I just made this into a little zipper pouch, which will be featured in my next tutorial, which is on Friday. So I hope you check out for that. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you do. And thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.